All right, guys, we're back. Man, it's been a busy year, okay? Uh, for those of you uh, wondering what's going on uh, with uh, the videos, been a little uh, short on, on putting them out. It's just been a real busy year, so uh, we're back. Looking to uh, make sure I, I continue to give you more videos. Uh, so how to. So today, we are going to be talking about this Hoover, okay? Uh, this is a Power Dash pet. All right, get a little closer. Ah, yes. Now, uh, what's been happening with these, um, I have a couple of them in here uh, for the same problem, believe it or not. It is, uh, it just lost power all of a sudden, okay? And I, I, I have an idea what it is, but I wanted to discover it together, okay? So if you have one of these Hoovers and you're going through a power issue or something going on with the motor, uh, stay tuned. I have more to show you. All right. Okay, guys, so first things first with, with these units. Right now, as it stands, um, I can't just get a motor to replace this machine, okay, uh, in the machine. So if it's the motor issue, we may have to get a little creative with what to do with this, okay? Um, but if it is the motor, most likely, it's, it's not, the chances are that it's just a defective motor is, is, is a low chance that it's just like, ah, it's just defective, right? Uh, that's a low, it's possible, but it's a low chance. So let's not go there first. Let that be the last thing that is on your mind that is just defective and Hoover is not making good quality product and things like that. Let's let's assume that's not the case, all right? Um, so as, as tough as a, a hard uh, pill to swallow, we're gonna assume that is user error, okay? <laughs> Blame the victim. No, I'm not <laughs> I'm blaming the victim. Let's assume, let's say you're driving a car and, uh, uh, you know, the motor, you know, the motor smoke is coming out the back of the car, whatever. Let's not assume that it's just a defective motor. Let's assume maybe uh, there's some oil mixing with something and, um, you know, something happened. You understand? It, you know, uh, let's, let's, let's go that route first. All right. So what, what could, um, what user error could cause something to happen to the motor? Okay. Uh, the only thing I can think of right now at this moment would be if somehow water got into the suction area where the motor is. Now, what I, what I actually like about this Hoover setup is that the old Hoover is that I'm not a fan of uh, the way that a lot of the, the suction and the... Um, the, the, the suction area where the motor is pulling, you know, pulling in, and also the area where the water is entering into the tank is right next to each other. Uh, there's a lot of room for error there when they're, when they're right next to each other like this. A lot of room for error, okay? Um, so the water is pretty much going to go in the wrong, the wrong hole. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so. Anyway. So, um, but this one, this setup, See, so right here's where the, the, the water is going in to this coming in through the in section. And this is where the suction is hitting your tank. So it's going to build up that vacuum inside the tank. And then the vacuum has, has to have some place to go. And then it, it travels down the front. OK, see if you can see that right here. It's going to go down the front of the chute. And this is where the water goes in. But this is where the suction is is being pulled from. OK, so. Now, to, to, to prevent any the, the kind of thing that I'm thinking about, they have a floater in the back here. So the water will rise, 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 rise. And when it gets to a certain point, the floater will cut off the suction. Okay? Now, that's how it's supposed to work. Now, here's the problem with this, this. The only issue I really have with this tank is that look at your fill mark. See, see where it says filled? Okay? Look how low that is. It's right down here. See that? Now that is the only defect I see in this little thing that will cause a person to want to keep shampooing beyond the, 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 the fill mark because you're, you're assuming the tank is this big. If the tank is this big, all, you, you should be able to put water at least probably up to about here or so, you know, like up to this mark. And, and, and just look at the uh, illusion, the way that your eyes work and the way we, we perceive things. This would be, unconsciously, this would be the fill mark for some people, right here. 
because you're looking down on the machine, you're shampooing, right? That means you're looking, you're looking down like this. It's in front of you going back and forth, right? The film mark is all the way down here. And you're not thinking, man, a tank this big, I'm going to have to empty my tank down here. And I'm thinking that for some users anyway, the water go up, the floater may or may not have done his job, okay, properly. And, um, or the rocking back and forth when you're trying to get the stuff in is going to get water splishing, splashing back and forth. And some of that water is going to get inside the area and get sucked in by the motor and get jammed up inside your motor and mess up your motor. Okay. That's, that's what I'm coming from with this. That's what I'm thinking happened. So go that route first. Okay. Um, and then the next route is going to be, all right, maybe the motor is defective. Maybe the cord is uh, defective. Maybe the power switch is effective. Those are, those are the other areas that can, that can cause this. So let's explore and see what's going on. All right. Okay. Okay, guys. So uh, just wanted you to, to uh, keep in mind what I'm doing here. Now, the first uh, screws that you're going to be taking out, probably going to be this, these longer ones. They're for the front. Okay. So there's two of them. Then you need Phillips screw. Well, the, the, and these are Phillips. And uh, these are also Phillips, which is one, two, three, and then this one back here. Okay. But then you need a torque, a 15 torque screwdriver for these here, the ones back here. Okay. See that? All right. So you'll need that for to get off these here, here, and here. All right. Okay, good. Okay, so now that the screws are out, okay, let's say you want to change the belt on this system. This is where, you know, you'll get access to the belt from these. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, these are all Phillips, like I said. And, uh, and again, the, the two front screws are the longer ones, okay? So you get access to your belt. I'm just using a little flathead to kind of pry this up a little bit right here. And um, now, now, to change the belt, you may have to remove this here because you most likely you're gonna have to lift up the brush so you can change this out, all right? Let's move this out of the way. Okay, see that? Off, off, take out your brush. And if you have to put a new belt on, there you go. You can access, put a new belt on. Now, the reason why I still have to go through this is because there's still another screw down below the uh the shaft got to be under the wheel. Let's remove the wheel. Let's remove the wheel. Ah, <laughs> it was under the wheel. There's a screw right here. 